Hi everyone, it's Christina and I just finished making these leaves, not making them from scratch, but um, I used my Mod Podge on them and I want to do something here in my journal. Now what I did is I went in the driveway and I picked a whole bunch of leaves that were laying on the ground and then I brought them in the house, I laid them on some wax paper and then folded it over like this and then put my iron on them and then I turned it around and I ironed the other side and then afterwards I carefully took my paint, not my paintbrush, but one of those sponge brushes and I brushed on some Mod Podge and some of them ripped when I was doing it, like here it got ripped but for the most part um, I salvaged most of them so they're dry now and I want to do something here. Um, I taped off all the edges because I wanted a border. I do want to use my paint, so I took out blue, yellow, orange, and a white. And I think what I'm going to do is grab the sponge and then sponge blue at the top for the sky. And then orange and yellow down here because for like the leaves and stuff. And then maybe in the center a little bit of white. So I'm just going to, I don't know, kind of spread this around a little bit. It is the sky. There, I think that's good. I might put some white in there for kind of mm, like, like a cloud look. I guess I'm going to have to get another sponge. And my sponge was damp. I did spray it with a little bit of water. Whoops. Don't even know if that's going to look like a sky or not, but I hope so. It would be kind of neat once I take all that tape off. Okay, so now I'm going to do the... Oh, wait, wait a minute. I am going to do some more white in here. I had to grab um, the other white I had. It's all dry. It was in one of these containers, so now I'm just using this stuff I got at the dollar store. Okay, so now a little bit of orange. And then I guess the yellow, or whatever that color is, kind of yellow, a little darker, um, in there. And that beautiful color is all dried out too. Just goes to show you how often I've been using my paints. So now I've got this one out here by Deco Art. Mix a little bit of white in there too. Right, I'm pretty with happy with that. It's going to um, either I'm going to let it air dry now all on its own, or I might use my heat tool. So I'm going to remove the tape here. I haven't uh, used my heat tool yet, or. Okay, 
on to the next step, whatever that is. So these are some of the stamps that I want to use. It comes from this stamp set here in the meadow. And this one here are mountains. And that's why I bought this stamp set was for the mountain stamp set because every time I try and try to draw mountains or paint them in, it just looks like a mound of poop. So um, I want to use that and these pretty, look at the pretty deer there and then this grass and this beautiful saying. No, that's not where I got that. This beautiful saying comes from this stamp set here called Artistically Asian and it's that stamp set right there. So then I printed this up. I think I might use that as a tip hem so either leaves or autumn. A doily. I always have tons of doilies um, on hand that I sort of pre-ink them up. Actually the color I want is not in here but I think that might work. But now I need to do some stamping, and this is all um, wo uh, wonky, right? It's not going to stamp very good, so I'm a little bit nervous about stamping. But I'll put this really thick piece of cardboard behind there, and hopefully it'll work. So I'm going to use this green color by Ranger, and the color is called Bottle. It's kind of an odd name. So I'm going to maybe stamp right there and then cut that out and glue it down. So that was denim I used. <laughs> Alright, gonna cut that out. I took a little bit of white paint and just put it on the tops of the mountain like for snow caps. I think a little bit of this tree right on the side here would look pretty. So I'm going to stamp brown and green. So the bottom part brown and the top part green. So I'm just going to lay that there because I don't want to get the white. So these are my options. I've got it stamped right onto the paper, but you can barely see it. Then there's this one and it's brown. And then there's this one and it, I added a little bit of white paint to it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna pick that one. Okay, so that page I think is done. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then um, I had these bingo cards. Remember the autumn and the leaves one? But I think I'm going to change it up. I'm going to use this bingo card. And then I've got all these pieces here. And I'm going to figure out what to do with this page. I just kind of want to leave it because I like it. But that was not the plan. So um, i got to figure something out. So I decided to use this fabric doily instead in the background and then some images that I cut out from a children's book. Then I made this tag. I think I'm going to put this saying there, life's lessons. I have this heart wood piece. And then for the other side of that tag, uh, this is something I printed out on my computer, that image there. I better glue those leaves down soon because they're getting a little brittle. And uh, a couple of sayings here.
So luckily it's not too thick. So when I close the book, I always like to close my book after I do a, a page or two to see how thick everything's getting. I have to trim this. This is just a uh, elastic, but I don't want it too long. And then I, I was going to use this bike, but I decided not to. I was going to glue it there. I might, but for now not. And I was going to use this one here. Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> I was going to, I was thinking of using these uh, stickers here, but instead I put counting blessings because she looks like she's counting her blessings or she's fallen asleep. And this little cross here that says, he restores my soul. Um, and I used this card because it went really good with this quote there. So I am finished now. I'm not adding anything else, but I did want to show you um, this, the paper I used here. I have an old children's book right here that I bought a long, long time ago. And the other night I went through this whole book and I cut out all the images that I wanted to keep. And I've got them all in here. So I just cut everything out. This would be really nice for a border trim. Look at those apples and this sweet, sweet bird. And look at him. And look at this one. See this one? I, they may have been on the same page as she's on the log, resting, sleeping, praying. And he's on the log. Looks like he's doing a lot of praying. Um, and just lots of cute images. Some of them I cut out with uh, a shaped die. Some of them, see, here's a tag. That was, um, I used that one there. And then here, lots of really cool images and sayings. Love them all. Little doggies and cats. Lots of images of, like, houses and outdoor stuff. And here, too. Yeah, I went through every page. Took me, I don't know, I was, had the TV on. And it took me a, a good couple hours to cut all of the, I didn't cut all of them, just the ones that I thought, um, the ones that I liked and the ones that I thought that I would use. So this always makes me happy when I do this. It's a bit of work, kind of hard on the hands, you know, all that cutting with the scissors. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching me do my art journaling. And we'll see you all in the next video, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao.